Good morning, it's the Lanky Gamer and welcome to the latest session of my social media journey. I think we're on to number part seven. Uh, and since my last video, I've shaved the beard, my lockdown beard's gone. I put a vote on Instagram and it was overwhelmingly to get rid, so I've got rid. So this session, um, we're looking at the first of the five social media channels. You mentioned, I remember mentioning five channels, social networking, photo sharing, video sharing, interactive media and blogging. And today we're looking at the first of the five social networking, which includes three main streams. If you so we're going to start off by naming these three main social networking channels. First one is uh, Facebook. There are over 2 billion, billion active users every month on Facebook. So the platform is absolutely mega, mega, massive. Second is Twitter. And there are 125 plus million daily users. Daily users. So again, another massive market. And third is LinkedIn more of a business platform but there are over 500 million users active users of LinkedIn so three massive platforms and social networking is I guess the, the, the most traditional of the social media channels and it's called social networking because it allows people to interact with other users some of the other ones, some of the other channels, you're just displaying information. Well, this one allows you to interact with users in different ways. So in this uh, video, I'm going to be looking at some general comments about each of the three uh, streams that feed into this channel. And some pros and cons of social networking in general. And then in the next three sessions, we're looking at the three uh, tools in more depth. So we'll start with Facebook, probably the most well-known of the social media channels, networks. As I said, there are 2 billion plus users every every month, that's active users. And Facebook now call, call, includes rather uh, Facebook Live, which I'll cover in more depth when I get to the video sort of channels in in the future but facebook is great particularly for example if you're a small business it could be a restaurant cafe shop and basically you can build your profile your business profile include pictures links to your website details about say a menu for example or your stock the things you sell and once once you get your profile up and running then you set you can simply add more content about your business a whole variety of um, content you can add and um, in the future i'm going to be releasing something very soon all about this something that you'll be able to purchase all about uh, social networking but you can also answer customer queries, uh, opening times, directions, how to get there and so on. And you can also have a business profile on Facebook, which means people give you reviews as well. Next, we have Twitter. And, and Twitter is a, it's an interesting beast. I, I don't fully get it, although my traction is starting to grow slowly i've got over 500 followers it's growing generally one or two a day certainly a few every week uh, and i always associate twitter with complaints if i want to complain about a company twitter is the is the avenue i would go uh, for example a few weeks ago my um, gas wasn't working properly or something like that and i just put on twitter and within a few minutes it was resolved. So Twitter's great. The thing with Twitter is your tweets are really 
only light for a short time. There's so much traffic on there that maybe your window opportunity is only a few minutes. Uh, and you have to be consistent. Some, some say it's 30 tweaks a day, others say a minimum of six. Um, even if you only put one or two on every day, you need to do something every day if you want to be using Twitter. You can in, in add posts or tweets about product updates, good news stories, uh, new content on your on your Facebook or and so on. So it is a very quick instant messaging. I think the character limit has doubled recently. I think it's 280 now. And you can add hashtags as well. And the third of the three tools is LinkedIn. Now I've got a LinkedIn profile. Uh, I got advice from a good friend of mine how to, how to write a good profile and so on. And LinkedIn is really for companies that want to offer what is called B2B, business-to-business -business services, um, publishing companies, things like that. And it allows you to connect with other people, like-minded people, other professionals. Uh, it's, it's also a good opportunity to look for employment. You can put your profile up there and hopefully somebody's looking for exactly what services you can offer. I've done virtually no social media on LinkedIn at the moment. It's on the list. I'm going to finish this video looking at sort of the pros and cons of social networking. The obvious pros, you can connect to people anywhere in the world, almost instantly. And because we can do that, we don't need telephones, landlines, answering machines, fax machines, nothing like that. We just open up our laptop, our phone, and away we go. We can get real-time news, information, the opportunities that are out there for business people, business owners, people building their own uh, sort of influence. The the opportunities are incredible. And it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing these little videos. Um, I'm not pretending to be uh, Spielberg or anybody like that. It's just a lot of fun. Uh, and used properly, there's a lot of enjoyment to be had using social networks. But there are some cons. How do you get your story out there? The amount of information out there is just incredible. So much, it can overwhelm you. As I'm learning more and more about social media and the different tools, I'm thinking, well, how? This is going to make a thousand episodes by the time I get through it all. It's incredible. There's also privacy issues. There's so much information online these days that um, privacy is becoming a big concern whether it's people that on sites that you publish who have all your content. Um, you can be you can be a target. If you're posting things like going on holiday and people figure out where you live, it's dangerous. You could get in trouble at work if you tweet something inappropriate, put dodgy pictures online, so like that. There's a lot of peer pressure and cyberbullying. Covered that in my last video. You could be socially isolated. Because you're connected all the time, you can be seeing all your friends having these amazing up times on the on the face of it, and you might feel isolated because you're not getting all that stuff. It can certainly distract you. If you are a procrastinator, social media can really uh, take up your time. It's a real tr time drainer, uh, and also it can affect your sleeping and things like that because. You could be up all night doing this stuff. Time just goes past so quickly. So focus on the good stuff and be aware of the bad stuff. And social media and social networking is your friend. But like all things, just be careful. And enjoy using social networking. It's a wonderful opportunity, a wonderful tool.